How's everybody doing? This is Cal here from Calcraft. Welcome back to the Minecraft listings playlist. Today I have a 15 by 16 house for you. A desert survival home. Now I personally don't often build in the desert, but today we're going to change that. I built a small little home that's perfect for a survival scenario. Yes, a desert house. Check it out. The idea with this one is that it blends naturally with the environment, but it also pops in different levels. The corners of the building stick out with those stone slabs, and the wood fences give a good pop against that sandy tone. It's really a unique build. The bottom layer of the house is made of smooth sandstone to give it that solid base. The walls come up with sandstone to continue that desert theme. And then you hit the fence posts on the corners. These oak wood fence posts really match in with the texture of the build and give it that necessary pop that the eye needs on the house. Along the top you can see a stone slab trim. This projects the shape of the build and gives the eye a defined sharp angle to look at. It also gives a good separation on the roof that in my eyes fits that desert theme. While we're up here, you can see the separation in levels of the different rooms. This separation in height gives an appealing look so it's not too flat, both from the ground and above. So yes, the construction of the build looks pretty awesome. It's a beautiful little exterior that fits that desert theme. Anyone that stumbles upon this house is going to love the idea that you're blending in with the desert but standing out as an awesome house. Other final details I have to mention are the little stone slabs across the base. They're serving as rocks and provide just that half block of depth that's necessary for the walls to not be too flat. I really like how the exterior turned out in this desert theme, so hopefully you do too. Now let's check out the interior. We fly in and enter into a beautiful little foyer. Straight away I want to mention I use quartz flooring because it looks awesome, but if you're in survival and you don't like getting that block, you could sub those quartz stairs for oak wood stairs and the quartz flooring for white wool. But if you can get the quartz, get it because it looks beautiful right here. Just a little bit of details, we got carpets on the ground, plenty of hangers for towels, armor, or garments to cover you from the hot sun, and a little bit of brownish green ferns to give it that color you need. As we walk down, we walk into the living area of the house. To the right, a kitchen. It's very simple in its design, but it looks pretty sharp. It also has a furnace and a large double chest right there. Simple with its oak wood cabinets and flooring that match the theme of the build. As we progress down the room, we have a nice dining room table with seating, and get to the back room with a TV and a couch and coffee table. Torches all have item frames behind it for a nice detail, and that leather looks amazing against these other textures in the build. A few paintings along the wall give it a beautiful view, and give the interior a very homey feel in general. This separated back room is a bedroom. It's an interesting little design for a tight bedroom. A wood structure kind of elevates half the room, and is where the beds lay. There's personal storage chests along the side wall, and again, more torches and little details to wrap up the build. I really like how this small bedroom turned out. It was tricky to get the sizing and the heights right, but we got it. Each bed has a spawn point and is survival friendly. So yes, that's the desert house. An awesome and good looking house that looks sweet blended into that desert environment, but also gives enough pop to be a standout and good looking build. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think of this unique house in the comments below. I know I'm biased, but I thought it turned out pretty cool. And of course, Lego style tutorial coming soon. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming.